Hi, my name is Brad. I'm from Bradley Clifford Photography, and I'm here to teach you some basics of how to improve your landscape photography. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is place your camera on a tripod because with landscape photography, you're gonna to wanna to have a longer um, shutter speed so that you could have allow more light in when you increase your aperture. So this number here indicates the shutter speed. So the shutter is at 1 15th of a second. So that's a longer shutter speed. So typically if you're holding your camera handheld, it would be uh, around 1 60th of a second or upwards to you know, however high your camera's shutter speed goes. Uh, now this F11 here indicates the uh, aperture. So the aperture is at F11, which is quite wide, so it has a very wide depth of field. And the ISO, which is the uh, artificial light, is set at 100, which is the lowest that this camera can go. So I chose a 35 millimeter lens for this landscape picture because 35 millimeters is the typical lens you'd see for a landscape. So it's a little bit wider. So to put it into perspective, the average eye can see about 50 millimeters. Whereas this is just a little bit wider, so it gets more into the image. As you can see, I changed the shutter speed down to 1 8th of a second, opposed to 1 15 as it was earlier. And that's because it's gotten a little bit darker now since we started filming. Here, I like to shoot in neutral because when you're editing the picture uh, post-processing, um, I, it gives you more to edit, so you could you could play around with the colors a little bit more, opposed to if you were to set it to landscape or portrait mode. I shoot all of my image. I shoot all of my images in RAW because that allows you again to uh, have more control over editing your photos afterwards. I like to keep my metering on. Uh, uh, evaluate metering because it allows to take into account uh, different act, different parts of the uh, image opposed to center weighted uh, metering which you know uh, takes the light from the center. So as you can see here through the live view uh, this is what the image would look like if I were to take it right now. So that's what I'm going to do right now just to test what our photo looks like. And that's it for the uh, actual taking of the landscape photo. 